Another thing that we can figure out on the carousel is with me standing on the outside and Eric standing on the inside, the difference in the distance that both of us would travel after 10 revolutions of the carousel. We can use circumference to do this. We would find the circumference of the inside, the circumference of the outside, subtract these two numbers, multiply by 10 for 10 revolutions, and that would be the total difference in the distance that each of us traveled after 10 revolutions. We're going to measure the distance traveled by me standing here and Dave standing here on the carousel. We want to know how much further Dave traveled than me when we did 10 revolutions. So this is a circumference problem. We need to calculate the circumference of the small circle, the circumference of the large circle, subtract those distances, and then multiply it by 10. So let's do those calculations. We have circumference which is c is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. We're going to do the outer circle first where Dave was standing. 2 times pi. The radius of Dave's circle is 18 feet. This gives us 36 pi. And this calculation comes out to be 113 point one zero. Feet. Since we're not doing area, it's just feet and not square feet. My circle had the following circumference, 2 times pi times 11 feet. This turns out to be 22 pi, and this calculation turns out to be 69.12 feet. So the calculation that I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this circumference subtract this circumference, and then multiply it by 10 to see how much further Dave traveled than me after 10 revolutions. So let's do that. And this comes out to be 43.98 feet. So the circumference of the large circle is 43.98 feet larger or longer than the circumference of the small circle. Now after 10 revolutions, that will give us a grand total of 439.8 feet. So it looks like Dave got a better deal. He traveled 439.8 feet further than I did.